this program itself, it's meant for those providers that want to work in true primary care settings. You want to see pediatrics through geriatrics. You're wanting to do well visits and treating common everyday illnesses. I am still in practice as a nurse practitioner, as are all of our faculty in the nurse practitioner program. That practice also informs my teaching. Clinicians who continue to practice stay up to date on science and, and evidence-based practice and, and the best recommendations. We feel an ethical responsibility to put practitioners out there who are competent. And when I teach a course, I have to think of that person might be taking care of a family member someday. The good thing about it is they can do it on their own time. Nurses work odd hours, odd shifts. It fits into people's schedule a little bit better than having to go to a brick and mortar school. But you're still getting the same academic rigor that you would if you were an on-site student. We use a holistic admission process here. So we look at many factors. We look at the GPA, of course. We look at their goal statement. We like to look to see if they're a post-master student, where have they practiced? Why do they want to be an FNP? But I do think it's a calling. I do think nursing is, is a true calling. I always joke around with my students that if they pass my tests, that they can pass the boards. I think our high pass rates are attributed to the faculty. We are very invested in you and we want students to succeed. Just simply putting classes up on the internet does not make it online learning. Not only have we been an online program for many, many years, we have also been a nationally ranked program for many, many years. We are ranked 11th nationally for the best online MSN programs and we're ranked fourth for online MSN programs for veterans. I can't expect the students to be the best if we're not trying to do the same for ourselves.